I'm Glencore Bordale, and I designed the CS325 um, course. And I'm Teresa Migler, and I'm a computer science student. Um, as an undergraduate, I majored in mathematics, and now uh, I've switched to computer science. So what do I need to remember from previous courses? Okay, so the, the previous courses that are most like this one are going to be your data structures class and your discrete math classes. So from the data structures class, you'll want to remember your various data structures and some of the algorithms that you'll have learned there will be useful in building on in this class. From your discrete math class, uh, it will be very useful for you to remember graph theory, what a graph is and what paths and graphs are and what trees are. Uh, and you'll want to remember your various proof techniques uh, like induction and proof by contradiction. Um, we will go over these things again, but we will assume you've seen them before. So why do we have to prove things? So you've already learned that it's, it's a good idea to write down pseudocode before you sit down and program, right? It's always good to think about what you're going to do before you start typing on, on your console. Um, and before you sit down to write your pseudocode, it's a good idea to think, is my approach going to be correct? Is my approach going to be efficient? And it's really hard to say when you've written down some pseudocode, designed an algorithm, it's really hard to say just by you know, intuition that, oh, this is correct, or, oh, this will be efficient. Um, and sometimes you don't want to go all the way to the stage of implementing it and testing it on a broad set of cases to determine if it's correct and to try it on a bunch of different sizes of inputs to see how efficient it is. If you can determine that ahead of time, you can save yourself a lot of work in the long run. Why do you enjoy studying algorithms? Well, I don't really like to program. <laughs> uh, I, I like knowing how things are going to work before you sit down at a computer. And now as for my research, my research area is in algorithms. And I very rarely sit down at a computer because I can tell you everything about, not everything, I can tell you a lot about the algorithms that I design without anyone having implemented them. And doing it this way, you can, when you, when you keep in mind um, uh, a provable complexity or provable uh, correctness of an algorithm, you come up with a lot of different algorithmic ideas than people who approach it from a less rigorous standpoint. So that's why I like algorithms. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the class.